the trail dogs and I got out this weekend uh, to have a great time, but as well I wanted to test the kick-ass 12-volt travel oven. Hey y'all, I was doing uh, some projects on the trailer out at camp. Uh, it's just uh, me and the dogs right now. Other folks will be showing up later and I got a little bit hungry, so I decided to go ahead and give the uh, 12 volt oven a try. Uh, I'll show you that oven. Uh, so uh, this is uh, from an Australian company. Uh, their company is called Kickass, and it's the Kickass 12 volt travel oven. Uh, I've got a variety of uh, meat pies and uh, empanadas and things to try, but thought it would be easiest to start first with a DiGiorno pizza. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. I'm not uh, sponsored by them, I just had to say that out loud. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give it a try. And, so here. and so I've just got one of the trays in. I'm going to put it in, put it right in the center. Alright, so popped it open. I did run it uh, an additional... Uh, I'm going to carefully pull that out because that uh, gray is uh, very hot. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. Ouch, that's hot, hot, hot. Okay, so uh, there it is. Shut this back up. Let's not get all of the desert into it. And uh, here's the pizza. And what we were hoping for is underneath, look at that, nice and golden brown. That's perfect. That is perfect for melted the cheese nicely. And uh, so I'm gonna go enjoy some of that with a beverage. Well done, I would say. Took a while. You're gonna have to start things earlier and uh, plan accordingly. But uh, it took, I said 40. It took probably a total of uh, about 45 minutes uh, to get it a little bit crusty on the bottom, which is how I like it, and uh, nice and melted. I've got a couple trail puppies that uh, would sure like some of my pizza, but sorry kids, pizza's for daddy. It's not good for doggies. Time for a taste test. Man, that's hot. Mm, good though. DiGiorno, done right in the kick ass 12 volt oven. Well, time for some empanadas. So I've had beef empanadas, and uh, I'm gonna cook a couple of those now to see how they do and see how they taste. So I've got them on the rack, ready to go. And we'll crank up the temp and the timer and uh, test out beef empanadas. Okay, so the oven's been running for an hour and uh, so it's dropped two volts in an hour. So that's, uh, that's running 150 watt solar while I'm cooking an hour with the oven. And this time we were cooking beef and bananas. So they definitely expanded quite a bit, nice. And they stuck a little bit to the tray. All right, so uh, 
I would advise to probably flip those at uh, 30 minutes. So beef empanadas. Mm. You flew away. Mmm, tasty. Oh. That's good stuff. All right, for dinner, I'm gonna try chicken and veggie Popeye and uh, boomerangs steak and potato. Mm. So the oven made it nice and crispy. The crust is crispy. The inside is really nice and warm, and the flavors all together. And uh, this this particular pie, somebody when they it's it's got oregano on top. Really nice addition, flavor wise. The kick-ass 12 volt travel oven was a success in my mind. It was easy to use. I am not a complex uh, chef type camper. I keep it simple and uh, this was simple and easy to use and uh, the food that I found uh, was good and I hope to make some uh, things in the future to test out in it and next time I'm out I'll try the tray and I've got some foods already prepped to try out in the uh, in the tray that I'll use for fries and tots and other things like that. It was a great weekend with great friends and great food. I can't wait to get out and do it again soon.